Hey guys, it's J19 brought to you in our video, and usually I don't upload on the weekends, but this is very important. A friend of mine by Zealous Runner, um, he got a hold of me, and Square Enix is up to something. As you guys probably can't tell on the screen here, uh, to the right of me here, uh, I got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playing the teaser trailer. And you guys are probably wondering, what the hell are you talking about? And I'll keep this brief and short, but I need to get this out here. Uh, Square Enix Japan Twitter account has posted that scene with Zack. And Zack is like, you know, of course it's in Japanese, but somebody translated it, and I remember the words somewhat. That's why he's talking to all the new new recruits, and, and Cloud is one. And he's like telling about how, you know, embrace your dreams, like, you know, this is the beginning of the week, or something like that. He mentions the, week, the word week. And Square Enix has mentioned the word you know, embrace your dreams this week, of some some sort of like that. I, I don't really have the full translation on me, but he told me that he's talking to some people, and people have been translating it. And this is something big. This is something huge. I've been talking about this for the last few days and the last few months, and people don't really want to, you know, have a grasp of this, right? They don't want to, like, think about it. And uh, it's gotten to the point where it's like, Come on, folks, wake up. Like, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Final Fantasy XVI can coexist. It's two different studios from, like, Square Enix, right? I kept using this analogy. Like, Sony, they got multiple developers, right? Multiple studios, multiple divisions, right? They got Naughty Dog, Sony Monica, and Somniac, right? Square is the same way. Square, Unit, Square Enix got Creative Business Unit 1, Creative Business Unit 2, Creative Business Unit 3. And I think they got Creative Business Unit 4 or Mobile Division. You guys know who they are. I, th I don't need to break them down. Who the, who's who. But Creative Business Unit 1 is Katase and them, right? So this is huge. This is something big. Something big's coming in the next three days. Why would they Why would they all of a sudden just have that scene? Where he's talking about embrace your, your dreams this week. Like, whatever, whatever you do, hold on to it. Like, protect your honor as a soldier, you know. Uh, honor as a soldier and stuff like that, right? Soldier on. Why would they have Zach speaking those lines? Why would they mention embrace your dreams this week, right? Why would they do that three days before the PlayStation Showcase? I'm telling you what, guys. We are getting the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer. And I've been telling you guys this all along. That just because Final Fantasy XVI is almost out. It's been shown off in February. It's been shown off in March. It's been shown off in April, and according to word, I'm gonna give you guys a little heads up now. Speaking, uh, speaking to a lot of people, tomorrow is the Game Informer is gonna be dropping some stuff. And to be honest with you guys, if they're dropping stuff like a video, they uh, uh, interviews and stuff like that, that means the embargo is lifting up for previews. They're gonna have like they're probably gonna have videos of them, you know, of footages that are allowed to show, and I'm pretty sure the way things are going, that we're going to get a second batch of previews. It makes sense, right? We're almost towards the end of the month. We got the PlayStation Showcase coming up. We got, you know, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming up late. We got Summer Games Fest, stuff like that. And what happened last year? I'm going to let leave it here. But what happened last year in June, right? Round E3. What does Square Enix do? At the state of play in June 2nd, at the very end, they had Final Fantasy seven, Final Fantasy sixteen dominance trailer, right? And everybody's like, "Whoa, holy crap, this looks good!" What happened on June sixteen? We had an announcement. Everybody's like hyping it up. The twenty fifth anniversary event stream, whatever you want to call it, pre recorded thing. And they said, "Everybody, we want to see a reaction. Please re react to this. Please do. Please do and record it and, and put it on Twitter and let people know." Like they were hyping it up. Because what do we get? We got Integrate on Steam. We got Crisis Core Reunion. Uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion on this winter, which came out last winter. And then this winter is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And we got a Rebirth trailer within two weeks after Final Fantasy XVI trailer. And I told you guys this. I said, these are two different developers, right? Two different uh, dev studios from Square. They got... Their AAA games and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, according to this, they're hyping it up. They're giving us a little snippet like Embrace Your Dreams this week. 
you know, soldier on. Make sure that doing that speech to the new recruits, including the father. Like, this is not a coincidence, guys. They're hyping us up. And I feel in my gut that we are getting a full trailer with Final Fantasy VII Reaper. And it's going to be a juicy one. It's going to give us some information on what we might, what, what the hell the story is going to be like. And not going to give us all the answers, right? They got to keep it a mystery. We're going to see some locations. We're going to see characters talk. We're going to see some new character models of, of NPCs and stuff. We sub, side characters that we know about. Like, we might see Elena. We might see, we might see a little snippet of Vincent Valentine. We might see Red 13 in action. We don't know, right? We don't know what we're going to see. But it's going to be juicy. I'm going to leave it here. And my final thought is this. I think we will get a release date with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Since we're about the six to eight months marketing. I told you guys this for, for the beginning. That's when marketing starts for a lot of games. It started with Final Fantasy VII Remake. It started with Final Fantasy XVI. It started with a whole bunch of other games. And here we go. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. About six to eight months out, about nine at most. Here we go. Release date. Do I think pre orders gonna go live? 50 50 shot. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this. Are you guys excited? I know I am. I'm super hyped. I should, I, my ass should be in bed. But it's like, hey, dude, gotta check this out. You know it's in Japanese, but being translated, it says, embrace your dreams this week. So with Jaron, as Zach, they just posted like an hour ago on the Square Enix Japanese website for Final Fantasy VII Remake or Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion but it's also Remake it's Final Fantasy VII Twitter account anyways I'm gonna leave it here let me know what you guys think are you guys more hype you guys are finally beginning to understand why I'm getting hyped for this why I think Rebirth is gonna be there because man I cannot wait to say I told you so on Twitter and with my reaction I will re react to it um, I won't be doing it live, unfortunately, because Sony likes to drop these things at the wrong time. But I will have my reaction to the full PlayStation Showcase, and we will be breaking down that trailer when it drops. I cannot wait. With that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. Share with a friend. Subscribe if you're new if you guys want more. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is me, J19. I'm signing off. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.